it's kind of a Vancouverish type day here. We got windy and rainy, but you know the uh, hey man, the sun came up and uh, we're alive. Okay, so another fourteen hundred and forty minutes. Yeah, man, absolutely. How's it out there weather wise? Is it great? It's absolutely beautiful. Like it's, <laughs> I I can actually show you. Okay. Uh, so what what's happening out in Toronto? Well, actually, I'm not in Toronto. I'm or about Oakville. an hour outside of Toronto, and uh, it's just we're just quiet, man. Just hanging with the neighbors, you know, seeing if anybody needs anything that I can do, making soup and stuff that I can share with folks, and uh, just uh, waiting for all of this to pass, as they say. Well, watch this. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna do something here. I'm gonna show you what it's like outside here. Hold on. You won't okay. be able to hear me, but check it out. Oh, here. You'll be able to hear All me. All right. 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 One, two. One, two. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. There you go. So anyways, okay. guys. guys. Gene Greenwood here, is going to take us outside what, uh, the studio uh, in our white rock in Columbia. And uh, time-wise there. Check out the weather, man. The weather's the actually kind of beautiful here in Vancouver in White Rock. We got some Whoa, serious sun this. action here. Oh, yeah. Course, yeah. It's a hot yeah. Tub, but Look at that. We got some serious sunshine and clouds and, you know, got that all bored up so the apocalypse zombies don't get me. So, oh, there's my hash bags. Okay. Now, we're coming back. And, uh, oh, you don't oh, have, it. have it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, hold okay, on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here, here you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, here's, so here's what, we're what we're using here. here. And, uh, let me take, Let me you, take back you back outside, outside again. Outside. Hey, Gene, I see Jeff in the other picture it's there. Really I think he's in. Man. Like, look at this. Oh, you can't hear me. It's like really <laughs> sunny. Blue. Not many clouds in the sky, but... So there we go. So there we go. Uh, Gene. Sorry, guys, Gene. for that little musical inter Where? interlude. Gene, there's Jeff. Is he uh, is he in? Jeff Jones? Is ah, he looks like Jeff. Are you <laughs> moving around? Let's get over here. I'll tell you what we got here. We've got Cornelius over there. Hi, Cornelius. Well, Romania. Romania. How you doing, guys? Happy and to we see got you, the West Coast of Canada. Gene and Michael on, in Ontario. Hello, man. All the best from Transylvania, Romania. Oh, Transylvania. Wow. And there's Jeff. Now, I don't know if Jeff is live or if that's an image uh, uh, or not, but uh, you'll work on that, I'm sure, while I'm talking uh, to Cornelius. How's that? Yeah, man. Here we go. Hey. Here. All right. There you go. Okay. Hey. There we go. So, uh, All right. So I, I, miss, so I miss Canada. Michael, I miss Canada. I saw all the shows. I, I saw... Yeah, Big Sugar, uh, Tea Party, it's a good band, good Canadian band, yeah. Uh, so you're a big fan of Canadian music. music. And yeah, you were yeah, living yeah. here, how long How long ago were you five living years. here? Well, five and years, five years. I was I was a ski instructor in, in Whistler, and I was in film school in Vancouver, and I had this uh, cool teacher of acting in Gastown called Alex Bruhansky, which is a very good drama teacher, yeah? <laughs> mm. cool. So my life was about sports, outdoor sports, rock and roll, and acting in film school. That was it. That was it. I was, I was always on Granville Street going to Roxy, and I was, I was at the Shark Club. I was at the Cactus <laughs> Club, and I was the drummer myself in the heavy metal band. Yes. Oh, so I, great! Starting with punk rock, reggae. Heavy metal, hard rock, everything is, is my thing as well. So I love Canadian bands, and I'm sorry for Nick Pearl from from Rush and stuff. For what, what, they, good music, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But when I saw you, Michael, I thought you are, you are the bass player of uh, of, of the band oh, Big Sugar. Big Sugar. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Gary Lowe passed away uh, about a year, year and a half ago or so. And I did the uh, – I, I was uh, – I did the the memorial. I hosted the memorial for him, and it was a wonderful time. Everybody showed up for that for that show to play, and it was uh, 
it was absolutely beautiful. It was a great way to send a, a brother out. Yeah. And um, we miss him so very much. He was the master of the, the Lord of the low frequencies. And yeah. he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, and to be without him, when I first met him, he was playing with Willie Williams. And Willie Williams, who I work with, who was a Jamaican Studio One artist, he wrote the song Armageddon Time that was covered by The Clash, and that was the B-side of London Calling, and it was actually the first real hit record for The Clash before London Calling, and um, yeah. uh, Willie's just a, a great musician, and he's the mentor of Big Sugar, and that's, that's kind of cool. And he was there, I remember what? everybody, every musician in Toronto was there and everybody flew in, uh, 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 I believe Leroy Sibbles flew in from Jamaica and stuff like that. So it was a great sending off party for Gary Lowe and Big Sugar has a new record coming out real soon. I think it might be some of the last recordings that Gary Lowe did with the band. So uh, I'm glad yeah. you're a fan. There. It must be hard to get, well, I guess it's not very hard to get the music in Romania because with iTunes, the world is connected that way, right? Yeah, but I lived in Canada, so uh, I, I met Burton Cummings, if you if you believe me. <laughs> Burton, Burton Cummings had a had had a concert at a conference in Whistler, and I was at the concert. Mm -hmm. Well, you he can't get playing... any more Canadian than Burton Cummings. He's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bur Naked Ladies, you know the band Bur Naked Ladies, good band. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know who played... you know who. Cornelius just had Dave Benedict from uh, Default on his little show that he's going over in Romania. He, what he's really? doing, yeah, what, what Cornelius is doing is similar to what's happening here, but he started mm -hmm. quite a while ago and he just interviews every normal person everywhere in every country and just talking about what's going on. Great. What about hope, uh, connecting people, like having a good heart, and to connect people in this time of uh, craziness with this coronavirus, with all this drama, with passing, mm. you know, it's, it's insane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. How is it there, man? What's, uh, is, are people well, very hopeful there? What's going on? Transylvania, Romania is not that bad hit. You know, I mean, they scare people a lot. I mean, there are like 50 people dead, there are like about 4,000 people infected, a population of 19 million. So it's not that bad, you know? But everything is shut down. The people are afraid for the economy because all the all the companies are are closed, and all the restaurants, tourism is dead. So people have a little bit of of panic mm -hmm. because they they don't know what's going to happen in the future. You know what I'm saying? So I hope right. it's not going to last long because people will go bankrupt. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's pretty scary. Uh, I think everywhere we don't know how are we going to go to restaurants again. How are we going to go to concerts again? Are we able? Are we going to be able to have concerts and restaurants? Are we going to be able to be in small places, large places? Is it the end of the era of the large mega concert where you go and there are twenty, fifty, a hundred thousand people there? How are we going to do these now, things? So everything is getting come readjusted. Back. It's going to mm -hmm. come back, Michael. Sure, come on. Mm -hmm. I mean, not they can't shut everything. You know, come on. Let's face. The only thing I'm afraid of is not to have our freedom cut off, like traveling and, like you said, concerts. I mean, uh, with restaurants. I mean, if they're going to cut that, there's going to be a problem, and we have to fight back. I mean, you can't cut your liberties, even if it's something dodgy happened. Your liberties are holy. You have to be stay with that. You know what I'm saying, Michael? Yeah, but this is a this is an odd one because people are dying, right? Like right now. What happened in the States is interesting is they, you know how you guys were responsible over there and you shut everything down, which was yeah, awesome. Yeah. That That's why like your people sort of followed the rules. What happened over here is uh, in just below us in the country below us, um, they let spring break happen and in Florida and New Orleans. And now the outbreak is serious. They're having... Well, I'm, I'm with you, Gene. I'm with you and Michael. I think people should be, yeah, stay in the house. I'm not saying that, but we have to be careful. That's what I'm saying about the yeah. liberties that we have as well. That's the only yeah. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing in the, you know, in the West. 
in the extreme way. What I'm saying. Yeah. Well, right. how the liberty how, and freedom. Yeah. How are how are people yeah. dealing with just the basics like getting food and everything over there? Because we're like yeah. We're we're not just driving around here. So like if you go out, you kind of need a reason to go out. You know. It's the, it's the same here. You need a reason to go to the supermarket or the pharmacy or to work as well. But yeah, we, we don't have as much as in the U.S. Like take take uh, take food and stuff. It's the supermarkets are so people are getting at the supermarkets. That's the thing here. Yeah. Restaurants are, are pretty much closed. Yeah. yeah. And no take, the, uh, yeah. go ahead. No, 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 the restaurants are not like in the U.S. Here, like take uh, you take food from the restaurants. People are going to the supermarkets and all. You know, there are a lot of volunteers working and deliver food for the old people or for the people they can't they can't walk outside the house. So things yeah. are moving pretty well, but I hope it's not going to last for long because because that will be a problem. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah it's it's they're saying well they're preparing here for i think today when i read the news is we're looking at at least 60 days of wow different life it's not that bad 60 days it's not that bad if you can stay in a house for 60 days it's not that bad yeah i hope not six months that'll be a problem i can't imagine entering a relationship with someone for a couple of weeks and then having to isolate and they're staying with you and you find out that you don't get along. Whoa. <laughs> you probably seen the house. I heard that a lot of domestic violence happen all around the world in Europe as well. You know, uh, like, you know, people are staying too much together in a small space. They're going to start acting like, you know, strange. Am I right? Oh, uh, you yeah. get you can uh, cabin fever they call it cabin fever i mean i mean that's why that's kind of like what we're doing what we're doing because mm -hmm. at least it's kind of fun losing your mind in front of everybody with michael and you and me at least we can all do that together <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean can you imagine uh, from yeah yeah and we get to play a it's bunch of music and have a few friends on yeah yeah. See, we've got, we've got a 250 millisecond delay. And it's right. interesting because when your brain gathers to concept that you should talk, the other person is responding to what you just did in the past. So there's a constant interfering and back. But it's not because we're doing that to everyone out there. It's just that when I hear something, they're already starting to talk about something when I haven't heard it yet. Right? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, guys, it's so cool because you have such a positive vibe, Eugene and Michael. It's so cool. It's, it's, it's a pleasure and it's it's an honor to talk to you guys. I mean, it's, it's good. Thank you very much for this thing. Wow. And you're good people. You, music, you, you like music, you like film, you like, you know, sensitive guys. And that's the spirit, you know. Well, I think it's been time around for, for you guys. It's, yeah, it's time for the yeah, people to have a good soul. Because maybe because of what happened today, people will go back and and talk with themselves to see what real values are. Yes? I mean, exactly. it's good to be wealthy, it's good to have money, but what about character? What about human qualities? What about, you know, having a good soul? What about generosity? What about intelligence? What about reading? What about having your mind and your heart open, that's the spirit, you know, that's the real things we should, we should promote. And people like you, music, are the best people that they should talk right now. Thanks, man. Well, thank you. Michael well, has always, gee. Michael's always been around everywhere in, in our business. And like, he's the key, he has interviewed all your favorite bands, my favorite bands. He's been there. He's the heart of kind of my generation of music in Canada. And I was on the other side, pulling boxes, shooting cameras and doing stuff. He was always over there. I was always over there. But it was amazing how many times we were together and didn't know. And I think that- Ships in the night, ships yeah. in the night. And I think 
this is going to bring people together now so we all know that we're doing stuff together rather than separately. So I think things are going to change for the better once we get over all this stuff. Because to be honest, we were all pretty fucked up before this happened. Everybody was getting so divided and angry and stuff like that. True. Now, look, Cornelius, we're back talking and hanging again. And Michael, we don't have to wait until Toronto. I get out there, you get out here. We're mm -hmm. hanging. And that's, right. you know, that's what I think is going to happen more is we're going to start hanging like this because we can't see each other right now. Like we can't, yeah. we can't, can't be close. We can't give a hug. We can't shake a hand. Right. So I think it's a pretty big opening of the eyes to how vulnerable we are also, you know, and of the heart. I mean, we get to, uh, thank God we have this as a communication tool because uh, we all can begin to communicate again and I guess really tear down all the other stuff and build it back up again to something that means something again. And I think that's, that's the best part. And we've got the world that we can play in. We're just isolated. So we put ourselves on isolation Island and invite everybody to come out with us. And uh, Cornelius, I want to thank you from Transylvania uh just uh, an interesting romania. place romania just a really interesting place that i'd like to find more uh, uh more about so you got to come back and hang with us and we'll come on your show as well okay now how do we how Mike, do we get a hold of you cornelius how, yes, how do people okay. see it well well it's it's on my youtube youtube channel and it's on facebook everywhere and uh Local television, they take this as well, yes? Local television and Romanian television take this, plus with the social media that goes all over the place. And Michael, I'd, I'd like to have a conversation with you as well, maybe in the future, because your story sounds amazing as well. And what can be better is to talk about humanity and about music and about your stories. If you interview so many sure. musicians, I mean, your story is fantastic. And I'll, uh, sure, whenever you want, just grab my number from Gene, and I'll send you some okay. music. I'll send you Romani Rota and the stuff that I've been working with here. They're a wonderful okay. gypsy band from, uh, from Hungary, and uh, we will do that Eastern European swing thing. <laughs> Listen, I hope this thing is going to stop with, uh, after a while. And if it's going to mm -hmm. stop, uh, Michael, you are my guest to come in, in Romania, in Transylvania. I'm going to... Uh, take you around for a nice tour and have a good time, listen to music, go to some concerts over here, take you to some castles, and you're my special guest. Oh, I look forward to it. I really do. It's going to be great. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. Anytime. And you know what? Cornelius is going to be jumping in, Michael. We'll grab him to see what's what's happening in, in, in Romania. Like, what's mm -hmm. happening? What do you need? And and maybe I have a lot we of can. Stories, not just about not just about Romania. I know stories from Germany mm -hmm. because we got Germany from from France, from England. So I have a lot of stories, my friends. And uh, yeah, uh, it's incredible to see you. All right, cool. Okay, man. Gene. So let's get that Gene set up. Later. We're gonna be back soon, guys. We're gonna be with Jeff Jones. Hopefully, we had a little bit of technical issues, and uh, sometimes laptops and that don't work together so we're trying to get our laptops to play together in the same sandbox so hopefully we'll, we'll be back soon yeah we'll be man. back when we can cheers see ya respect guys salutes from transylvania romania